In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and failures, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries in a worthy manner. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, bless Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me, me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who through the regenerating power of baptism have been pleased to confer on us heavenly life, grant we pray that those you enter capable of immortality by justifying them may by your guidance attain the fullness of your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Cilicia, Paul went to Derbe, and then on to Lystra. Here there was a disciple called Timothy, whose mother was a Jewess, who had become a believer, but his father was a Greek. The brothers at Lystra and Iconium spoke well of Timothy and Paul, who wanted to have him as a traveling companion, had him circumcised. This was on the account of the Jews in the locality where everyone knew his father was a Greek. As they visited one town after another, they passed on the decision reached by the apostles and elders in Jerusalem with instructions to respect them. So the churches grew strong in the faith as well as growing daily in numbers. They traveled through Phrygia and the Galatian country having been told by the Holy Spirit not to preach the word in Asia. When they reached the frontier of Mysia, they thought to cross it into Bithynia. But as the Spirit of Jesus would not allow them, they went through Mysia and came down to Thor through us. One night, Paul had a vision. A Macedonian appeared and appealed to him in these words come across to Macedonia and help us. Once he had seen this vision, we lost no time in arranging a passage to Macedonia, convinced that God had called us to bring them the good news. The word of the Lord. Amen. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. 
Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. The Lord who hung for us upon the tree has risen from the tomb. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, remember that it hated me before you. If you belong to the world, the world will love you as its son. But because you do not belong to the world, because my choice withdrew you from the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the words I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you too. If they kept my word, they will keep yours as well. But it will be on my account that they will do all this because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. To break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, O Lord, have mercy on me. Let us drink wine together on our knees. Let us drink wine together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, O Lord, have mercy on me. Let us pray. God together on our knees. Let us praise God together on our knees. When I fall on my knees with my face to the rising sun, O Lord, have mercy on me. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love to you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, an integrity of life is restored to us in Christ, 
Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelly hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was entered, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Paul our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. How mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed to by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant to her peace and unity in accordance with your will. O live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May this be clear the party and bread of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my life, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. But you better for Lord Jesus Christ and be for eternal life. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, the redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to the Mass is centered. Thanks be to God. Good morning and have a nice day.